Monty looks like a happy dog. I know. Chair dog had basically got an eye problem. And she keeps pushing me more that way, the more pushing me that way, the more difficult it is. Because I actually broke my leg the other day at that Oh. And so she makes it more difficult for me to get in and out of places. So, but as you see, we have a new, we have a new set now, folks. Uh, we've been promising people forever for a new location. We actually have new locations now. Many new locations and a new food. We actually, this is our food new facility. Look at that big white fireplace behind us, which you don't get to see. Plus, we actually have a table down in front of us now. But um, today we're going to be talking about the uh, the choice of Paul Ryan for Vice President of the United States by Mitt Romney. And the reason why it's not important the direction you think it is. Mm. Why is it important? It's important because this is a base election, uh, and it basically a base election for a president means you need to get your base out so you can be elected to be president. No, this is a base election to keep the Senate. Ah, because see, part of it is, is that a lot of times voters will turn out to vote for the president, but they don't necessarily turn out to vote for their senators. Because it's just their senator is irrelevant to a senator is someone they actually never see, but the president they, they do see on television all the time. I mean, the only time they often see a senator during the election process or when they're fundraising funds, that's the only time he ever comes home. But um, the problem in the Republic, okay, Rob, uh, if you look closely, Obama has been going further and further to the left every single day. And basically, uh, I'm going to try to put a, the, the, what Obama has been saying with a reference to an episode of MASH that I worked on in Gallup a long time ago, where Alan all and people don't understand, MASH was actually an awfully left-wing liberal show. But there's a difference between really liberals and what they call liberals. A real liberal wants to hear all the points of view so they can discuss them and try to destroy the opposite point of view. But they, a liberal wants, he believes in everything the people on the, uh, uh, that they call themselves liberals and only, only believe in one point of view and that point of view is not even here. But on the show, Alan Alda, I mean, he was, many times he was tried for misconduct on the series, but this way I I like because he said, that he got up and he was giving his moment to speak and he uh, said that he found everything that was said very interesting on this hearing. It, it only lacked one important detail. And what, what would that, that detail be? What would that be? The truth. Oh. And absolutely. Well, well, why would the truth be important? <laughs> it's not to the President of the United States because they're basically, you know, Mitt Romney is a murderer. Mitt Romney is a criminal. Uh, I guess they were telling people, this, this, this is how they do things in Chicago. Look for Should the we tell about Chicago politics? Chicago politics. When they really get down to the end of the election and they think they might lose, they have candidates arrested Ooh. And, and, and photographed being taken and being arrested. And then all charges are immediately dropped mm -hmm. because they've got what they want, which basically destroys the candidate. Romney knows that he's got a person from Chicago working for him. He knows that's the end game. He does not want to be in that position. So he um, he basically was forced by the right, who totally hates Mitt Romney. They didn't like. Okay, he. They, they well, how in the world was he? How in the world is he the presumptive nominee if they don't like him? Because it, the, uh, the way it works is the party decides who's going to run. The party decides who's going to be the victor. The Democratic Party wanted. Hillary Clinton, but they couldn't tell their Afro-American and minority base that Obama couldn't be president. So they basically threw Hillary Clinton under the bus and promised her 216. But the problem is, is 216 is not going to come for Hillary now. Well, because by that time Hillary's going to be too old and they don't elect presidents at that age. Not anymore. Um, so, because the Tea Party doesn't trust Romney, they never trusted Romney, the right doesn't trust Romney. And this, and this week, the breaking news for the for the Republican National Committee, which they didn't really want to have here, the undecided have already made up their minds. Ooh. Well, then and, they and can no longer be undecided. No, they're not undecided. And they broke like the undecided almost always do us for the opposition. But Romney only managed to hold his ground. And that's not what they were counting on. They were man hoping that Romney would hold his ground and then gain the undecided and it would make him over 50%. Right. What has happened though, Obama went completely to the left. I mean, he's basically just slandering, smearing everything you can think of, which for all the people out there that don't realize was actually created by the Republicans. Mm -hmm. that Illinois is called the land of Lincoln. Everything they know in Chicago was taught to them by Republicans. And you have to understand that a lot of those people in, in Chicago are, are the Irish. 
And the Irish are god awful supporters of the Republican Party, but they vote Democratic. Why? Because they don't like the policies of the Republican Party. Ah. They are not the policies of their people. Uh, but um, but um, Romney needed, okay, they've been telling him for the last week, unless he went to the right, uh, here's how the elect process works. Republicans, when they vote in elections, if they don't like the candidate, they most of the time do not come out to vote at all. That's how you got the 206, 208 Democratic surge in the House and Senate, which resulted in the economic problem that we have at the moment. But uh, they'll put their hands on in their pockets and set them not vote. Uh, and what happens is this time they told Romney and the Republican Party that they're not going to vote for you people, which means you do not control the Senate. You will not get control. You're not going to have the presidency. You're not going to get control of the president. And they told Romney it had to be Chris Christie or Paul Ryan. Uh -huh. And of the two, Chris Christie does not look the part of a president, period. Maybe way of half. Yeah. No, but they're looking for a guy that could be president. Oh. And here's the cute thing, too, like I said about sitting on your hands. Republicans have this neat little thing is, uh, oh, they, uh, they do this at the, at the convention. Uh, the honorable hands. state of Alabama passes. The honorable state of Michigan passes. The honorable state of Massachusetts passes. They all would pass. They can do that. That's why he is being called the presumptive nominee, not the nominee. Oh. Well, I always thought he was the presumptive nominee because they haven't had their convention yet. There's only one candidate that's really going to be put into. Okay, there will be candidates put into the uh, into the quick at the Democratic nominee. And, uh, Obama did not get all the delegates, folks. Yeah, because see, and it would not be the first time because in the past there were going into the convention there have been candidates. They were not listed as candidates that were nominated. Then they put them up on the floor, floor because they're, uh, okay, the rules do. And it's a very popular president. Yeah, but they always will put them on the floor, and you got to go through the process. But Obama did almost lose some states. We lost one almost to a, uh, I think he lost one guy to a jail cell. He almost lost some states, too. <laughs> yeah. The Democrats want him about as much as they want Obama, and uh, the, the Republicans want Romney, but they want to hold the Senate. That's why Harry Reid is on his slanderous attack. I mean, uh, the way it works is a lot of these people do not have the protection of their office when they're making personal attacks. They have, the President of the United States is not protected from charges of slander when he's on a campaign event. Mm -hmm. Harry Reid is not prevented from slander charges or any misconduct charges. That's why he's doing it on the floor of the Senate thinking that they will protect him. No, the Senate does not like what he's doing. But he's trying to keep his leadership job. But, Ryan is also a pit bull compared to, okay, um, basically, basically said uh, uh, Romney had the charisma of a, of a noodle. Romney had the charisma of a noodle that's basically been thrown out. He basically, he will not, okay, the only thing he, he gets pissed off about, he wouldn't even really defend his wife. His kids are another thing. If they go after his kids, he'll go after them. But his Did, wife, he just let. I would like to see him stand for something. But here's the question: Is I know, like before Obama got was elected, when they looked at his votes, he didn't vote yes or no for most of them. He just said he was president. President. Had, does Romney have enough spine to actually vote? No, Romney. I've been taking a look. Romney, Romney basically is a spineless whip. Everybody on the right knew it, the Tea Party knew it, that's why they were supporting fringe candidates. That's why they're, for, okay, they said, well, the independents are not going to go for Romney because they'll vote for, here's a good one, they'll vote for Paul Ryan. Here is still the trick at the convention. Remember, I told you that the Republicans can sit there, you know, we pass, we pass. They can pass forever until they decide that we, we, uh, we have what, and then they have to do something to break this tie. Mm. The tie being zero votes. So then what happens is then, they, the, then the state of Wisconsin the, the state of Con Wisconsin says the honorable state of, of Wisconsin puts the honorable representative of the House of Representatives from which they Wisconsin into nomination as President of the United States. Mm -hmm. it's, it, but Romney's nomination is still not secure until they actually to go through it. Because if Romney doesn't get off his ass, they'll still boot him out. 
Because they got that's the candidate. Kind of, that's kind of interesting. The Tea Party had the candidate they want. The right had Do the party mean, they want. For once, we actually could have a really interesting convention. Convention for both the Democrat as well as the Republican. Well, the Democrats party. don't want Obama. Yeah, usually, going, it is mostly just kind of like a rubber stamp. There's going to be expressions of unhappiness on the floor of both conventions of the candidates because neither party wants the the people do not want the candidate that they have. Ooh, now I'm really looking forward to the convention. It's I know. Good. But like I said, it's just a, it, it's got awful unusual thing because you have a president that can't be removed from office under any circumstances. Long as, okay, for the people on the left that are watching this, they'll say, well, that isn't true. Yes, it is. Go look at the Constitution. That go, go back to see the fact that uh, Robert Byrd wanted to censor Bill Clinton for what he did. But the law does not allow for a court system to get involved with the presidency of the United States. Only the Senate has the power to do anything, and the Senate does not have a power to do anything but to remove a president, period. So, uh, but if you want a president for life, all you have to do is just keep electing the Senate, and you've got Barack Obama forever. Mm -hmm. They said, well, what's the difference between a dictatorship and Obama for president for life? Well, probably not a lot. Actually, you know. the economy might be better with a dictator. <laughs> no, because Obama, the, he's already decided to screw the economy again. And come, oh, that, yeah. Okay, you're, you're, uh, that extra bump in gas prices that you got. Yeah, that you might have noticed What over the last couple of weeks has gone up. What, about 40 cents? Yeah, because Obama is on the attack. Uh, he's doing it. He went Friday, he went when it bumped even more. He went on the green energy kick, folks. He basically decided he's going to ethanol is going to have all its restrictions taken away, so you can put as much ethanol in the gas as you want, which means that grain prices go up. And food, you know, food stuff goes down, but it's the people on the left are dancing on top of the tables. Green and uh, wind power is coming next, and it's going to piss off the people over on the uh, the Sierra Club in those places and and the Audubon Society. But um, that's how they power the presidency. You know, we can offer all the things actually by executive order to do all this stuff. Romney has no power. Romney has uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank to run the campaign, and I think it's all going to be ran. The whole, all of that money is going to go to Paul Ryan, because basically, uh, I heard one of the people said earlier this morning. He said now they can get that, you know, effing bastard out of the way and let somebody run a campaign that basically knows how to get down in the mud and roll. Mm -hmm. He's a good Irishman, folks. Mm -hmm. And it should be Polly Ryan. Unlike Mitt Romney, who's basically, he's a block and totter. So, um, no, but they're gonna, he's gonna get down and roll with Obama. Because, you know, I, I, like I heard him say, I heard one of the people say this early this morning about the fact, well, um, they said that they can expect to have, you know, you know, um, the naked pictures of his daughters show up. He, you know, his son, who basically that he's he's hitting on school teachers. They're, they're little kids, folks. Uh -huh. They're little time. They're school kids, and you can expect all of that to happen. One of them is so young this morning. They're having to explain to her what's going on. She's uh -huh. with him, and they're trying to explain. You know, like Ryan down on one knee. Uh, I, I guess it's important. And oh, okay, what you do is you get up, you hold my hand, and we go up the airplane before Mitt Romney. Yeah. And the little girl doesn't understand what's going on, but she can expect that she will be the target of much character assassination by the Democratic Party. Romney, uh, Romney would let it. Romney it would basically, he would be up half. Well, his basically, his, his his he got really stern. Obama loney. That's as, that's as upset as he got over being called a murderer. So, oh um, my, are you serious? That's horrible. No, you basically have to, uh, basically they're getting a repeat of John McCain. John McCain only wanted to be president because he wanted to be commander. And if John McCain would have ever been named Joint Chiefs of Staff, he'd have been just as happy to have been president. Okay. But um, they're already starting to talk about the, the people that they're going to, Romney is going to, if he actually if he become president, he's going to have a, can, a cabinet that is going to be forced on. Basically, it's going to be like the Clinton presidency where Hillary was actually doing most of the stuff. This would be a presidency if he actually was elected where Paul Ryan was actually president. So Romney is basically, his, his, other than being out there and fund, raising funds, which they knew he could do, his, you know, nobody gives a damn about Mitt Romney now. Well, now I'm really curious about Paul Ryan. 
problems. Yeah, so you just got to watch Paul Ryan. He, he can, he'll handle, they said that he can not only take it, he can give it, and he's been, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he's from a state that basically is pissed off at the Democrats. Remember, they did that, they re, they were going to teach, we're going to, unions are going to teach the Republicans a lesson, yeah. and then the guy won, won the, uh, the recall thing by more than he had before. before. And all the other people that are going to recall won by more than they did before because the unions have lost clout. This is also about a union. You know who controls this nation? Does the do the unions control it? And the left doing in the Democratic Party, or do the people of this nation? Because our, our nation, you know, we can basically end this. It, you know, basically it says, uh, you know, uh, for the people, of the people, and by the people. It does not say of the unions, uh, by the unions, for the presidency. It's not in the Constitution or the Bill of Rights, none of that stuff, the Declaration of Independence. So, you know, you've got to be more about this until next time. This is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information? You can go to www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com, which is our new news site. Or www.montybubbles.net. But wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. Thank you once again for over 250 million likes. <laughs>